just Man of Steel. My name is Arnaz. And today we will be destroying some brand spanking new value. What do we got, Steve? With the Walmart exclusive Landard Alien Collection figures with the Xenomorph Attack sets. With, um, you know, it doesn't state on the front what's the difference between the two of them, so now I'm confused. Hey, Steve. Can you turn guys tell? Say hi. hi. You're on Instagram. Oh, hi. God. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, but anyways, uh, the main difference between the two sets here, even though it doesn't really tell you quite that well on the front, it just has Colonial Marines versus Aliens. And then, um, yeah, but for the most part, uh, this one is the ATV, is that how you say it? Van oh, APC. Vance APC. APC vehicle with what a Colonial Marines. Steve? ATV? ATV. Oh. All-terrain vehicle. And then this is the Power Loader set. Which actually comes with an alien and that dude. Um, which I, I'm not sure if I'm 100% sold on the Marines as, as of right now. We haven't gotten them out yet, but I don't think they quite look like the Colonial Marines that I remember from the if, movies. If he fits in the power loader, it's done. That's that's the deal right there. That's a deal breaker for me. If he fits in there, I am okay. Don't care what he looks like. Mm, all right, well, we got a point. Uh, but uh, this is the only two we've been able to find so far. Once we find some more other sites, we'll do some more Destroying the Valley videos, and then once we get everything, we'll do a review. Yeah, for right now, we only got these two. Yes, but anyways. All right, so uh, I guess we'll start with the power loader, because I feel like the ATV is the one I'm the most excited about. ATP? APC? ABG, whatever. Give me the ABGCK1. No, we're, on, no, we're doing this all on camera. No. <laughs> You wait, and you know what? Cause I am a real American. <laughs> far for the rest. But this video is called Destroy the Value for a Reason. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. You're screwed in. <laughs> you're screwed in. You're How screwed. many people steal these? I guess, I guess enough. <laughs> what the f oh, Hopefully it's not in... Oh, man. Here, try to take oh, the disc. Man. Yeah, okay, give me that. Oh, actually, I actually have a screwdriver near me. No, I don't want to go. Oh, God. Well, except for the rest of this unboxing, he will have cardboard feet. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, hold on. Jeez. Sometimes, with these guys, you can kind of just... Cardboard feet, right? Cardboard feet it is. We'll get, we will get... We'll do a review eventually. You'll, you'll look normal during the review. <laughs> uh, God, he's got this. He's a, that's the one thing like about Lantern that we have noticed whenever we've done these videos because we've done the Lantern uh, Rampage figures, we've done the cons, and they secure the crap out of these figures. Yeah, they do. Kinda Especially scary. for these things only be like, this is 15 bucks. <sighs> Alright, so he has a backpack. Is that backpack? <laughs> he has a backpack. I thought it was just regular cardboard. It is regular cardboard, but screw it in, so he now has a backpack. Oh, Because gotcha. <laughs> we ain't, uh, we ain't, we ain't about that life here. Oh, Alright, we got troopers out. Probably the thing I'm the most excited about out of this entire thing is this alien. Because he looks pretty sweet to me. So, I'm hoping. I don't know. So power loader looks pretty cool. And my thing is like it's neat, but it doesn't look like a power loader. No. And the thing that kind of like I think the the one thing I'm gonna have to get used to is, and I think also what I really like about these is they remind me a lot of the Kenners. Hey, you know that cardboard egg, Steve? That's still a thing, right? But they're gonna they have eggs. There you go. There you go. Bam. Got. Now, if you're too cheap to go buy the other sets, you got your, <laughs> you got a face <laughs> Uh But anyways, you have to get that in the bag. Uh, for the power loader, it's got chainsaw hands that are articulated. It's got a little gun on the top. Just realize it still has little eh, things on it. Come here, pliers. Eh, thank you. All right, I think we're good. It looks like that guy. Can I also like it. how he has a chain gun on the top here. Why does a power Jeez. loader have a chain gun? Why doesn't the power loader have a chain you know, gun? Because you know, like in the movie Alien or Aliens, 
Uh, the power loader is a sweet looking thing, but it's just a, um, it's just a power equipment. So how do you make it look better? You can chain guns, son. Chain guns and chainsaws. Can you imagine if she had that in the Oops. movie? Wait, wait, the wait, wait, queen would have been dead in like three seconds. Just <laughs> done. Right? I'm trying to look at the package. Oh, oh, oh. Rez mess messaged me, and he says we have to use Arnold reference in here. So the Oh, Arnold, there we go. So, so the that Arnold goes in the back here. is the chain gun, and him screaming, get to the power loader now. Get to the power loader now. now. Um... Can you imagine if he was in the Aliens movie? That would have been the greatest thing ever. That would have been pretty sweet. I like also too, it has like a little light on the top here, but as soon as you move the arm, it's a useless, <laughs> useless. light. But you get some pinching claws oh, that, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. They actually move the claws? Yeah. Shut the front You can door. articulate them. I was kind of thinking they might have a gimmick, but it doesn't look like it. So I like that the stuff's like a little bit articulated, but then like articulating this just smacks into the... Uh, Flamethrower laser gun thing here. And then his feet do have articulation. Yeah, there you go. Has all the articulation now <laughs> with his cardboard shoes. Uh, uh, that's annoying. Uh, moving on to the Colonial Marine. I don't know if I don't remember seeing that Colonial Marine. I mean, the I'll universe is big, so I guess I can't complain. I'm also kind of uh, curious how this Colonial Marine thought that having a pick as a weapon is going to be a great idea against the acid-blooded Xenomorph that is, like, twice his size. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it must be a hybrid between, like, Warrior <laughs> and the King. Right? It's just like, what, what in God's green earth thought that this was going to be an adequate Marine <laughs> weapon? <laughs> Like you thought they were cheap. Must now have been with the awesome army. Like GI Joe pack of the, like the ice yeah. climbers. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's from some. Like a lot of these are probably just like repurposed with like maybe a couple extra things. It's kind of what we've seen with some of the other Lander figures. So their extra thing was an ice pick. Yeah, yeah he's he got an ice pick. So that's kind of cool. But I don't, I don't know. The alien looks pretty good. Oh, the alien! I think looks amazing. I kind of, like, it's kind of sad that the mouth doesn't articulate, but I, I'm not going to really complain. But, like, look. It moves. Like, for, like, what I expected on Lanterns. Oops, I already popped that off. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> this is fairly common. Uh, but it has a decent amount of play with it. Even as, look. Bendable knee joint. What knee the joints. And the feet rotate. He's got better knees. Than yeah, it's me. like you, you don't see these on these other ones that are more like, uh, I don't know, like 90s-ish G.I. Joes. Yeah. Well, this is, uh, it's he's even got, man, he's even got stomach articulation. Whoa. Like, Landed we're so like used, yeah, I was like, we're so used to NECAs, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of like a dumbed down NECA figure. Like, all right, cool. And I'm like, but this is like 15 bucks. And he looks great. Outside of it being like this, uh, glossy green color yeah the color's kind of weird but, but i'm still down with yeah, it. yeah i like it i like it a lot it kind of gives it more of like a video game vibe and then stick our marine into here which looks like just slide him in oh yes he can that is amazing click said he can even hold the pike <laughs> while inside of it good to go it's not quite realistic because his arms aren't really doing anything but hey who cares and then grip on the alien Ten out of ten. Ten out of in ten. All right, moving. Where's this gun at? Somewhere <laughs> behind me. Eh, there we go. Yeah, this is kind of cool. It's very Kenner esque, which I can appreciate. And it's still odd to see too that like rated R franchises are still getting toys meant for seven, ages seven and up. Heck yeah! The one I read up on him, the cardboard thing that is an alien. The cardboard egg that is an actual part of the thing. So that's what I'm supposed to be playing with? Yeah. We're like, oh, I've got an alien. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it's this one. Like, you know, the other one had the green and it was the alien in it. This one has that and it's that alien. But then I could just cut out this alien on the side. The only thing I think I don't like about the package looking at it is the art direction is really off. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Now, which I'm assuming is just from different comics. One is accurate and one is like, what the... Yeah, like this one's very like comic booky like slightly cartoony 
Well, this one's a little bit more like movie. Yeah, like hyper. Like it's got a lot more detail going on with it. All right, we can sort of save this box because I need something for when we do the review, so you kind of know what we're talking about. Colonial Marine versus Alien. Top no. with extended accessories. What are the extended accessories? He gets a pulse rifle. Oh! Even though it's not quite a pulse rifle. Oh. Where's my flamethrower on the bottom? Right? This has like a blade on the bottom of it. It's even better. And it's got like a little drum the magazine. The only thing is, is like, he holds it from the, like, he holds this thing pretty gangsta. <laughs> right? Like 50 Cent Blood the Sand, just pow, pow, pow. Oh my god, dude, I wish I had that game still. <laughs> we would play that game 24-7. Oh, I wielding 50 calibers, gold desert eagles while you're just shooting through the sea. You also get this cardboard alien if you guys needed an alien to play with this, because sadly it didn't come with an alien. So you need this to kind of do its thing. <laughs> and I think it's the most disappointing thing out of this is that like it doesn't get an alien and i think that's the one like if you had to choose between god bless it yeah, ripping cardboard um like i would almost prefer this to be like a queen set right like the queen's probably gonna be a little more expensive because she's bigger same yeah. with the atv like make it a little bit bigger give me an alien to go along with it because it has to run something over well, as they come out, we'll grab them, for sure. Yeah. This comes out in two weeks, technically, pretty much. Release date for these guys is. Uh, yeah. Like they've, they've been hitting Walmarts, which is how we found ours. I'm going to try to get off as much of the cardboard as I can right now. Because I know we got a screwdriver currently. All right, one off. The struggle is wheels. Almost there. God, that's on there. Rip it. Okay, close enough. Here's the intersection of the APC, right? Armor Personal Carrier. Yeah. I think is what this is called. It's kind of neat. The only thing is, is, like, this is the, um, like, individual size. Uh, let's see what the inside looks like. I'm kind of, oh, my finger. Oh, you can actually fit more people in there. No way. Yeah, look, there's like the little computer console on the back there. Oh. Yeah, so it's it's meant for two. You can have one guy there. Let me let me pull him out of this thing. Let me pull him out of so this You got thing. a chair there, a chair here. So I guess you got like one for the gunner. I was like too, it has like the bug crusher sticker. You got the USCM, uh the Sulaco on here. No aliens, which let's see if the ice climber can fit in there too, Steve, when you're done. Man, I wish that door opened. All right, Mr. Ice Climber. Uh, uh, almost. I feel like you can. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we got the Ice Climber guy in there. Mr. Man, I just realized, like, it looks like that camera is, like, going into his face. Oh, it got <sighs> melted on there. Right. See what happens when you stab an alien with a knife, man? It's not a good idea, but he, oh yeah, he fits in there too. Good to go. Wheels spin. It's pretty neat. I think for like 15 bucks, this is pretty dope. Um, Personally, I kind of like, this would be like a nice thing to like repaint because it actually has some decent Put detail. Put some effort in into it. Yeah, like primer it and do some like gunmetal on top of it with a little bit of like silver wash on it. Oh. Well, technically like this is only. Oh, this rotates too. This is what, like the second, technically, one of the uh, cars that's out? Uh, what, um, Hiya Toys made one? Yeah. I do believe. I think there's like a NECA one, too. It's like one of the smaller, like, metal vehicles. I don't remember if NECA made one. I think. I wouldn't quote me on it, but I think. Oh, the, the best thing would have been this could have went down, like it did in the movie. Well, on the rail system. Would have been pretty dope. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, like... I'm pretty, I'm actually surprisingly pleased with this. I just, like I said, I wish it would have had an alien. Like, that's probably the biggest let down. But for 15 bucks, I don't think I'm too upset about it. Um, the power loader, well, kind of neat. I don't know where it is. Put it. I hid it from you. It doesn't look quite like a power loader should. 
feels like I feel like it's a cheap knockoff. It, it's essentially it almost oh, looks like something from um. Boy, you get the sweet alien, so I, I like I the set. Like the alien is the best thing so far out of this. Uh, nah, I think the car is my favorite. Alien's a close second, though. But I got this because this reminds me more of like the um, what you might call it, the Starship Troopers mechs, like the robot suits. Yeah. That's what this looks more similar to. But it it does the job well. But this is like these two things are like clearly iconic Alien. Well, this one could pass off for other franchises, but. Still pretty neat. But let us know in the comment section below if you guys are interested in getting the lanterns, what you guys would like to see. I know Rez was super interesting seeing Predators, because I need some like skin lantern figures to like hang around. Yeah. That'd be awesome. And help us defeat those characters by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. This video would also be up a day in advance of Patreon. So make sure to go and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.